Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to make water park sprayers with Lego bricks for today's tutorial. Let's begin with a simple ground sprayer starting with a 2x2 two two round plate with cross hole. I'm going to place a pair of 1x2 rounded plates right on top. Then we're going to take one of these studs with handle. I'm going to place a transparent blue feather in here. This is going to be like water. I want to make four of these. I'm going to stick these inside the tubes and the studs. I'm going to have these oriented in such a way that they are facing away from each other. Makes a nice nifty ground sprayer. Set that right there. For a shower sprayer, start with a 2x2 two two round brick. I'm going to place two by two round flat tile with a hole right on top then insert a three stud long cross axle and a half Technic bushing. We'll place that right there fix an offset issue. Then we're going to take a two stud long cross axle connector. We're going to place this right here then a two stud long cross axle right on top. I'm going to place Another one of these two stud long cross axle connectors there, and another two stud long cross axle in that hole. Then take a number five cross axle extender. I'm going to place a friction pin with stud, and I'm going to crown this off with a one by one round flat tile. We're going to place this right here. Then a three stud long 3.2 stick. I'm going to slip that right inside the cross hole. Now take a holder with 3.2 hole. I'm going to stick a dragon flame right inside. I want to make two of these. I'm going to take one of them and set it on the shaft. Then I'm going to take a Technic half bushing. Place that right there. This is going to sandwich this together. And then we're going to take our other sprayer. Place this one right here. Make sure it's up against the bushing and another bushing to keep everything spaced out. We could just rotate these as needed to make a shower sprayer. For a side sprayer, start with a 2x2 two two round brick. I'm going to place a 2x2 two two round flat tile with hole right on top and then a 6 stud long stick with flange. Place it where the flange inside the tile. Then I'm going to place a Technic half bushing right on top. We're going to fix an offset issue. Then we're going to take a transparent blue dragon flame and a holder with 3.2 hole. I want to make 10 of these and then I want to start populating the stick. Now as you can see I'm going to bump these right up against one another so it makes a great stop. And some of these flames have some sparkly effects. When I do the final draft of the building guide, it won't, that'll be the regular ones. Those came out of the friend sets, and I thought, why not put them to some good use? So as you can see, I'm spiraling around here. Now, you could do this any way you want. Now, if you have some of these holders with 3.2 hole in different colors, That'll make the build a lot more interesting. Well, I'm very limited on colors on these, so I'm going to have to stick with bright yellow. And I could just speed build through this, but you know what? We're going to just leave it like this. Place that last one up there, and looks pretty interesting. Looks like this really gets you drenched. For a mushroom sprayer, let's start with a 2x2 two two round brick. We're going to place a 7 stud long cross axle right in the center. Then I want to slip on 4 more 2x2 two two round bricks. Now the cross axle is going to keep the round bricks locked together. Sometimes these bricks don't stay together very well. Next, we're going to take a parabola ring. We're going to set this right on top. Then I'm going to lock all this together with a 2x2 two two round plate. 
Then we're going to take eight of these robot arms where the hands are rotated by 90 degrees. I'm going to take a dragon's flame and slip that right inside. Now I'm going to make eight of these. I'm going to attach these to our parabola ring. So we're just going to populate each one of these 3.2 shafts with a sprayer. Snap right on. Now I don't care if they're sloppy right now. We'll fix that up in a second. Now if you choose, you could just leave it like this. We're going to be adding a top to this here in a moment or two. Set this last one down right here. Then, I'm going to push all these in a bit, and then we're going to set down an 8x8 parabola dish. I'm just going to set that right inside, right there. You may have to wiggle and jiggle things in a bit until it locks in. And while we're here, we're just going to press these down. Just press them down gently. You don't need to get too aggressive with it. Get these tucked right underneath the dish makes a nice mushroom sprayer. I'm sure those are pretty good. That's what it looks like. And then for the top to fix up those nasty studs, a 2x2 two two round flat tile to crown off the sprayer. For an arch sprayer, start with a modified 1x2 plate with ball and receiver. I'm going to take three of these and I'm going to place these end to end. Then we're going to take a modified 1x2 plate with receiver, place this right here, and before I forget, a ball with 3.2 stick. We're going to place this right here. Now, I'm going to make sure all this is flattened down. And I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to place three 1x2 plates on the back. The gray is not really that appealing, so I'm going to try to disguise it a little bit. So I have a lime green, yellow, and red plates. Then we're going to flip it back over again. Take some 1x2 rounded plates. I'm going to place these on these studs. Now the reason why I'm using these is so we can attach our water pieces in here. Makes good anchors for the flame pieces. Right here, I'm going to take two feathers, place these inside the studs. It's a bit of a challenge to show you because <laughs> I have to stick my hands in the way here. We're going to place these down here. Now, if you got the smaller flame pieces, they work fine, but I was running low of these, which are little candle flames. I'm just going to shove these right in here. Make nice little gentle flames. These are going to be the misters. I'm just going to randomly place these in here. Once again I could speed build through this, but I like to hear the crunchiness of the parts. Next, take a 2x2 two two round brick. I'm going to place a 2x2 two two round plate with one stud right on top, then I'm going to place the 3.2 shaft right inside. Makes a nice anchor point. Now I want to make two of these, and then what I'm going to do is bend these here in such a way. I'm going to take the other assembly, I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to join these together with a 2x2 two two plate, and the 2x2 two two plate is is going on the top right here so that's what the top looks like and right in this area we're going to lock this joint together further with a set of 1x2 rounded plates. Why? Because we're going to stick four more of these little candle flames inside there. Of course it would be easier if I place it on a flat surface to do this. Now, the beauty of this arch is that you can make this any size, it's flexible you, know, you can customize it for your own water park. Let's place the last one there. Last one's usually the hardest one to get in. 
Now we can flatten this out, or you can leave it all squiggly. Work with this a little bit. In the end, it makes a nice little arch with some sprayers to run under.